headed out right now. I'm going to pick up my load, and um, it's a pretty light load. And I'm going to uh, the Valleys, Louisiana. I think it's the same location that I went uh, before, so it should be pretty easy. The load is pretty light, and uh, yeah. So, but while I'm there, I got all the things that I need to uh, to try to look for a load while I'm there to bring back with me. Uh, if so, fine. If not, I'll just keep on trucking. So um, I'll get back with you on the other side of this once I pick up the load over here. It's right here in Colleen, so and I like it like that. I will uh, get back with you once I pick that up and uh, let you know how everything's going. light load light load and everything is pretty tight okay went a few miles so let me stop and check it make sure it's still
Okay, so had one to come loose. So right here, so you have to tighten that one up. The rest of them look like they're pretty tight. So yeah, the rest of them pretty tight. So I need to tighten this one, tighten this one up, and uh, get back on the road.
the reason that I don't go out a lot is because when I get up in the morning, I go to the load board and I see two criteria. I have two criteria. Um, one is that it's close to my home station, four or five hundred miles out is optimum. That's one. And two, that the rates are good. If the rates are not good and there's nothing close to home, I'm not going. I won't do it. Definitely if the rates aren't good. Because it's not worth it. I will not go out. You know, some of some of the loads on the load board are such as four or five hundred miles for a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. Not me. I won't do it. Now I see a lot of guys do it. They. Uh, They get maybe two loads like that, and that's beneficial. But seven, eight thousand pounds for two, three hundred dollars going four, five hundred miles? No, it's not worth it. But that's just me. Oh, I'm going over to buy you now. This looks good. You can't see it though. I'll try. Okay, YouTube, I've um, stopped for the night and I'm about 30 to 40 minutes away from uh, my drop. <clears throat> so I'm at a, it's supposed to be a truck stop, but it looks desolate on this side. The other side is pretty nice, but this side had uh, a lot of parking space. After I got over here, I found out why they had a lot of parking space. They charge you 10 bucks <laughs> to park, right? But hey, I'm late, so it's pretty difficult to find parking uh, at the other park uh, truck stops. So $10 is the price that I have to pay in order to find a spot to stay overnight. This is what they give you, if you can see that. You have to put that in your window. Uh, I guess so that you don't get put towed out. So, uh, about 40 some minutes uh, to my drop, I get up tomorrow morning. Uh, I don't know if I wanna fuel up here or not. I'll see how much, I don't even know how much the fuel is here, but I'll, I'll fuel up and then I'll head the rest of the way to, um, to Gonzales. And I guess I'll pick up with you there. So I guess it's time for me to eat. I haven't eaten, uh, actually I don't think I've eaten anything today. So it's time to do that. And uh, get ready for tonight. And I'll see you a little bit later. I may check back in with you before the night's over. So, I don't know. Thanks for stopping in.
I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's a new day. And this morning I'll be dropping uh, this load. Um, yeah, so I've already done my pre-inspection. I need to go over and fuel up. And uh, then I should be ready to hit the road. So I'll get back with you, let you know how things turn out. Should be okay, hopefully. <clears throat> Last night was got kind of chilly though, and I didn't check. Uh, I got a little container that I keep my blankets, my PP, uh, PPE gear, all of that stuff in to include my uh, my shades for my windows and all that stuff. And I assumed that I had a blanket in there. I didn't have one. So, <laughs> it was a little, little squirmy last night, moving around a lot because I kept getting kind of chilly. But not too bad, but uncomfortable. So, but, where everything worked out okay, I guess, I'm here. And so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get on down the road and go fuel up and then um, check back in with you. All right. So, talk to you later. Oh, one more thing. I went inside to um, go to the bathroom, get some coffee, and I got one small cup of coffee, $1.29. And I typically always ask for my receipts because I use my receipts for tax purposes. And when she gave me my receipt, I looked at it and it says $10.80 for a cup of coffee. So I showed it to her and she goes, oh, and then she tried to give it back to me uh, to refund me, but it wouldn't let her refund me. So she ended up giving me cash money for it. The morals of the story is always check your receipts. <laughs> you know, sometime I, I used to say, no, I don't need a receipt. But if you don't get that receipt, you don't know if you paid the exact amount yet. Even if you get the receipt and just throw it away, at least you get to see what you actually paid for whatever that item is. So, at any rate, that was that was a nine dollar and something lesson so far. All right, so I'll get back in with you. Uh, talk to you later.
see I dropped that load. Um, I checked the load board. They only have one, yeah, one load that's going in my direction, going to uh, Dallas. Uh, they're only paying two hundred fifty dollars. Actually, it's not even worth it because if it was going right where I'm going, fine. But it's going three hours beyond where I'm going. So, to me, it's not worth it. Uh, so, I'll check it again a little later. See if uh, there's anything where I stopped at. If there's any loads close by. If so, I'll look into uh, taking something that, on that uh, route. So, other than that, things went smooth. You know, I forgot that today is Friday. The weekend is here. So I'm just going to chill this weekend. Well, not really. I got to cut grass. But other than that, trip went well. Uh, no problems other than the ones I talked to you about so far. But other than that, pretty good trip. Short light load. I like that. So, hey, thanks for dropping in. Uh, appreciate you. I'll see you on the next one. Take care now.